What's going on everyone? I'm Heavens Vibe and today I'm going to be showing you the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Prestige Emblems 1 to 10. Um as you can see in the picture below like on the video, um we have prestige emblems ranging from one up to ten, so we obviously conclude that the maximum prestige is ten. Um which was confirmed that I think Codel uh Codex B did earlier this year. Um looking at the emblems Prestige 10 as usual doesn't look the best, which you'd expect it to be, kind of. Um, 9 doesn't look so great either. Um, if you look closely at 9 and 10, um, the gold cross at the back looks similar to, I think it was Maximum Prestige on Quad 4, which maybe is a bit of a clue or something, I don't know, maybe just continue with the series. Um, to me, personally, Prestige 8, 7 and 6 look the best. Uh, I think it's just because of the bright colours that, you know, make the Prestige Emblem look a lot better. I've also got uh, a few more images coming up now. Now, the following images are from the gamer picks that you can have for your Xbox 360 account. And I think most of these are either, some of them are kill streaks where, you know, we have the Predator Missile, the Juggernaut, Attack Helicopter, Chopper Gunner, you know, the turrets. I think that's an AC-130 um, and you also have some of the playable characters in the game or even s just additional characters so we have you know Prince who else is there uh, I don't really remember any of the other characters but you know there, there's a few there's a few more playable characters newly added to this year's single player which sort of makes up for you know losing Ghost and uh, whoever else we lost last in Modern Warfare 2, which was so long ago. In addition to that, I've also managed to get hold of the multiplayer map names, so in alphabetical order they are Arcad Arc Aiden, Bakara, Bootleg, Carbon, Dome, Downturn, Fallen, Hard Hat, Interchange, Lockdown, Mission, Outpost, Resistance, Sea Town, underground and village and you know look looking at these maps there are quite a few of them so i think you know we're going to have quite a variety of maps something which you know in modern warfare 2 and black ops we didn't really have because everyone sort of majority of people sort of had that favorite map and the rest was usually just skipped or you know backed out from which you know wasn't really great but look, looking at these maps, some of them actually do have a great overhead view. You know, you have a lot of shooting points, you know. And it does look like it's going to be a fast-paced game, which it is my thing. Um, it might not be yours, but, you know, um, there, there's something in there for everyone by the looks of the maps. And hopefully this game does turn out to be better than the rest of them. Just to add, if you feel that the map, images are moving a bit too fast for you compared to my commentary um, just pause the video or let the video finish and visit the website which will be in the description below which has all of the information that I've just said to you. Now the final bit of uh, information I'm going to show you is if you take a look at this picture in the video now you'd actually see someone's call sign has all of their previous Call of Duty progress shown so this person here has been first prestige in Call of Duty 4, uh, first prestige in World at War, seventh prestige in Modern Warfare 2, and the last slot is left empty. Now this probably means that they either only hit level 50 and stayed there, or they did not play Black Ops. So now with this addition, it actually becomes a bit more interesting to see what happens to any hackers or challenge lobby users that actually used hacks to get to the so-called 11th prestige and I'm actually wondering what emblem will be shown for these players instead because they now have no emblem and at their so-called 11th prestige and I actually wonder if Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer games will actually take any action against these players who you know hack their way to the top um, so this video is going to wrap up uh, thank you for watching and enjoy Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out in a few days and I'll see you all then